It's ironic, but Agi Nieto, who really helped people develop muscles their entire life and his entire career, he ends up getting ALS. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease or ALS, is characterized by the motor neurons that innervate the voluntary muscles of the body beginning to die and degenerate. As the disease progresses, people progressively lose the ability to voluntarily move their arms, their legs, and eventually their mouth and their breathing muscles. It's a relatively rare disease. Uh, the incidence is about one in a hundred thousand people. About a year into his post-diagnosis period that he began to have problems with his hands, began to have a hard time with his cell phone, couldn't shave any longer, began to, to really feel the effects of the disease. ALS is always fatal. It usually takes three to five years for most patients to progress through the disease. Ten percent of patients will survive longer than that. Almost always these patients are paralyzed and unable to move. It doesn't interfere with any cognitive abilities of the person, so they are just paralyzed. This becomes very difficult for everyone in the family as the person becomes a prisoner within their own body. Once you have the diagnosis, it really starts to switch from treatment because we don't really have a way to treat this disease to improving quality of life. Unfortunately for the patient, it's that every few months things get worse, and as they get worse, things that they used to be able to do, they can't do. And so then our job as a physician is to say, okay, how can we help with that? Um, how can we at least make it a little bit easier for you or a little bit easier for the family um, to cope with those uh, deficits that you have? As the disease takes its toll, uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's got an inevitable ending. That's obvious to us all. The thing to bear in mind is if somebody said to you, you have three years to live and there's nothing I can do for you, you would get as much benefit out of those three years as possible. You wouldn't necessarily just end your life then. What we found with TJ isn't the end, it's the beginning. It is the start of what we're going to need to find our new ways of figuring out what causes ALS. The mission of TGEN is to find personalized medicines that will treat individuals because every person's genetic makeup is a little bit different and to also integrate these things with what we know about drugs and how they work for individuals and to accelerate these things as quickly as possible to be smarter treatments for each person. TGEN analyzes your genes and then says, okay, based on your genes, we know you're going to respond to these three drugs. So we don't even have to waste the time trying different sets of drugs. Um, we can actually know, based on your genetics, which drugs you're more likely to respond to. If we can prevent it or slow it down, we can give lots of time to these patients. And so it's our hope that we can come up with an early diagnostic and then right after that come up with something to slow the progression of the disease. <laughs>